1.11 trillion for discretionary spending. Education only re received 69.98 billion, in other words, 6.28 percent. The military falls under within the same category. However, they received 598 million billion. I, I, I mean, or 53.71 percent. Much of the funds are directed towards the military, so today I will do my best to persuade you guys why should it, why it should not be this way. Um, so my first claim is, a larger share of future jobs will require college-educated workers. So employers, employers will, will seek cognitive skills, such as communication and analytics from applicants, rather than traditional physical skills, right? So by then, um, education is gonna be a lot, a lot more important 20 years from now. Um, rather than more like labor skills that they they focus on today, 35% um, of job openings will require at least a bachelor's degree. 30% will require some college or associate's degree, while only 36% will not require education beyond high school. So as you guys can see, um, some college education and above will is what um, future employers will be seeking rather than just um, the high school diploma. Um, as said by homebusiness.com, high school, high cost of education has become a major obstacle to overcome for many low income families. So, Forbes Magazine said, for the past five years, college enrollments have fallen. So I mean, as, I mean, the high cost of education continues to increase some people don't have the privilege of um, attending college. I had some friends that you know couldn't, didn't have the chance of um, coming to Fresno City or Fresno State because they couldn't afford it. Um, over 45 million students cumulatively owe 1.52 trillion in student loans. As said by studentdebtrelief.us, nearly 2.8 million people aged 60 and up are still paying off student loans four times more than were a decade ago. So pretty much some of it, I know we're all young in this classroom, right? But there's a chance that maybe by the time we hit our 60s, we're still gonna be in debt with um, college tuition. Um, higher level of educated citizens would lead to economic growth. So as said by MuslimAid.org, the success of a nation is based on its citizens. A good national level of education leads to economic growth throughout the country. Education is so important because through education is where we um, get the next generation of um, governmental leaders, congressmen, um, teachers, lawyers, doctors. Without education, you can't um, move up to that standard. Our education system at the global scale is currently ranked at number 14. So, um, taking into consideration um, the well de um, de developed nations, we, we are ranked number 14. So, that pretty much tells me that, hey, you know, with the military spending, we can redirect that budget and, and direct it towards education, which is much more important. I don't believe we should be focusing on the next um, the next generation of military weapons. I mean, we we practically don't have to be the police department for for the world. You know, we can do things within this country itself because we need it. Um, we will be able to choose the right political leaders, be aware of our rights and freedoms. So, um, some people aren't aware of like their rights or like the Bill of Rights or their freedoms. You know, because they didn't attend college. You know, I feel like we have a, we're, we're ahead of them because, you know, through um, our classes, you know, we learn a little bit of everything. So if we um, help, if we were to help um, more people get enrolled in college, they'd be able to get um, a hold of that important information that everyone should know. So um, that's it. Is that the budget should increase. And to start off, who here gets financial aid and we're able to pay off their tuition. <clears throat> well, that is government aid, and I'm sure all of you spent it wisely. If the budget rises, more money will be in your pocket, yes, but at the cost of it coming from somebody else's. 
This will lead to my first claim, which is what happens if the amount of money to reach the budget would increase? If the budget for college happens to increase, so will the tax to meet the quota. It works like free tuition where if students get into free college free or at a lower price, others will pay for it like, like taxpayers' wallets, even if partially. U.S. Today expands on the idea of on, on how if Bernie Sanders' idea of free tuition were to come to fruition. The problem aforementioned will rise. So in summary of the claim, it works like free tuition but to a certain degree where it isn't as major but will still have a drastic change on, on people's finances. My second claim is it will get rid of clubs and services offered by colleges. An example of service, services are like the English programs if you struggle with coming up with ideas here on campus. You can go to the Writing Center for guidance on your, on your essay and everything in between. Those fees that would be paid by the government by financial aid would decrease and so will the out-of-pocket costs, meaning those extra fees you would pay for clubs and such would dissipate. Kiplinger talks about where those fees you pay, uh, pay to and show us that, the cl uh, that clubs is one of them. My third claim is that this will overflow the economy with more edu educated people. If college becomes cheaper due to the said budget being used for college tuition, the more people will enroll in college. Think about the people you are competing with for a job. Now double or even triple that if, peop if more people were to have, more, have access to college. <clears throat> and too much workers will limit jobs and students getting those jobs due to co competition will rise. And that I'm sure that, as you all know, we're just competing with each other in college, whether it be in grades or everything in between. And that's all I really have um, to say. They get rid of clubs or writing, um, the writing center. Well, pretty much when I talked about the government should step in and help with tuition, I meant it should direct the funding they have for the military since it's so much directed towards education, not necessarily um, raise taxes, because we already have the budget. So might as well have to redirect that and put it into something beneficial. Um, so there will be more educated people. Well, I mean, we need, we need to um, increase the level of educated people because, um, I don't know if you know, but like, in some in some um, certain careers, there's limited people. So, for example, computer science, like it's it's so limited that sometimes they ask for people coming from abroad helping um, the U.S. with certain um, uh, work um, or jobs. So, I feel like if we obviously increase the level of educated people here, yeah, there's going to be more competition. But aren't we already experiencing competition? I mean, it's just going to raise it a little higher but we'll have a lot more educated people that are going to be able to help. Um, yeah, mm, that's it. So, um, in the long run, it'll hurt or even ruin the economy by the amount of taxes used to financially support students. So, are you saying um, that we're take, we should take away the money from army men and put it into uh, college the college budget I don't know I don't think you know where this money come from though even um, it's a fever dream to know that that the problem will solve itself the pot the budget being raised and everyone every one of us paying for it through through this is delusional delusional sorry I only got ten dollars in my bank account and you expect me to pay for putting in money to it to meet the budget the budget's quota that's gonna be a no for me dog the ideas of taxes being raised is thrown around as if, as if it's easy. In reality, it hurts people and their income. So I don't know if you know this, but gross income is different from um, your actual income. Gross income is before it is taxed and after, um, after is when you get it. So if we were to try to meet the budget's quota, that gross income would, would lower, but so will the so will the person's income. So I don't think this would be the best idea for even trying to get it from the uh, army men. <clears throat> okay, so um, now, so, 
Um, I, I feel like okay, so I feel like um, what I said earlier, which was redirect the, the funding with the military going towards and instead um, place it towards education, I feel like that would be a lot more beneficial because I feel like, um, you know, frankly, the military doesn't need that that much um, that much um, that much of a budget that high of a, of a budget. Um, you know, we tend to the military tends to um, always try to act like the police department for the world. Like we have bases in Afghanistan, Pakistan, you name it; it's everywhere. I um, I feel like we should focus a lot more within the within the country with the states um, creating new new ways for for the future generation to to rise instead of trying to um, focus on more like more of the things or surrounding the world um, so yeah that's all I have Um, so you expect someone who actually makes $500 rather than the actual amount they use when they pay for rent and food and the essentials that, that they actually need. With the higher tax, the amount of money you actually make would decrease. My question is, again is, do you guys want to go through that? If you think about it, we are just right, redirecting money for college students, as I said before already, have financial aid. I feel for you when you said that your friends couldn't participate and go into college or even coming to Fresno State, but what happened to their financial aid in the end, and what um, what purchases have they made for it if they couldn't pay for the tuition? Okay, so um, some people some people do not get financial aid. Um, some people people don't qualify for um, financial aid, depending on their situation. Um, so I feel like um, by limiting certain budgets with the specifics of the military, I feel like that would be able to um, help those in need or potentially even help those that do not even have the opportunity of attending college. So my question to all of you guys is, do you, do you all want financial aid that you may or may not use wisely? Or would you want everything to be the same with your decent amount of money and basically nonchalant lifestyle? Or pay more because of greed? That's all I really have to ask you guys, and thank you for your time.